Hi there, and welcome to this presentation on SD Microelectronics Connectivity Solutions. My name is Colin Ramratin. I am one of the product marketing engineers in the Americas region, focusing on marketing for microcontrollers and wireless system on chip solutions. ST Microelectronics IoT products are segmented into the following silicon and software solutions. The segmented areas include sensor products, analog focus products, actuating or motor control, energy monitoring and energy management solutions. We also have wireless connectivity in our silicon and cloud connectivity solutions such as AWS, Azure or Google Cloud. The underlying interface and connection point to these solutions are microcontrollers for processing while maintaining a high level of IoT security. Today we'll focus on the connectivity section, specifically looking at Bluetooth LE, 802.15.4 at 2.4 GHz and sub GHz system on chip solutions. System on chip or SOC for short has various advantages when connectivity is concerned. Connectivity and computing are combined into one, ensuring seamless functionality while maintaining a high level of security. You can scale with an SOC by starting with a smaller device and then scaling to a larger one. ST Micro makes this possible through our large portfolio of products. The bomb or bill of material and subsequent PCB area are both reduced using an SOC. And along with this, you have lower manufacturing costs and typically better RF signal quality as there are less components on the outside, resulting in a better signal quality. SOC solutions are suited at any IoT point. As you can see in the picture here, we have IoT nodes that are wearable, uh, industrial, commercial, and consumer. All of these are suited to an uh, SOC solutions. Looking at 2.4 gigahertz wireless market, not considering Wi-Fi, we can see the following applications. Applications such as wearable and healthcare that need to communicate through Bluetooth LE, high throughput applications which require low latency that need to run proprietary 2.4 gigahertz stack or mesh related applications, and then also sensor related uh, networks. Smart home applications, including gateway sensors and various other endpoints connect to form a mesh network. These markets are well served today by a few solutions, which we'll dis be discussing later. Sub 1 gigahertz or sub gigahertz for short can serve any IoT node or endpoint. This includes the same 2.4 gigahertz applications we previously discussed. The technology is very versatile to a far reaching range. The drawback is the data rate, which is much lower than what you would find in 2.4 gigahertz. Later into the presentation, I'll go into the detailed types of solutions that exist in the sub gigahertz markets. Now let's look at the 2.4 gigahertz SOCs that ST offers in the market today. ST Microelectronics has a solution for all of the 2.4 gigahertz wireless applications served by our Blue Energy or STM32WB SOC. The applications we previously shown, which are wearable healthcare devices that need to be communicate through Bluetooth LE, high throughput applications, which require low latency or 2.4 gigahertz proprietary mesh applications, such as sensor networks or home automation networks can be served by both the Blue Energy and the STM32WB. When we look at mesh type networks that are thread in Zigbee or 802.15.4, these are served specifically by the STM32WB. Now let's take a closer look at the 2.4 gigahertz wireless SOC products. We have simple and advanced Bluetooth LE connectivity devices. We are one of the few manufacturers in the market today that with such an extensive portfolio. The Blue Energy Dash 1 and Dash 2 product families are single core SOCs with Cortex M0 or Cortex M0 Plus MCUs. The network coprocessor offering we have with the Blue Energy Dash 2N and Blue Energy Dash MS requires a host STM32 MCU to run the profiles. The Blue Energy LP is ST's first Bluetooth 5.1 compliant device, which is based on a Cortex M0 Plus device. The STM32WB family is dual core with a Cortex M4 application core and a Cortex M0 uh, dedicated to the radio operations and secure OTA functions. It also includes an 802.15.4 Mac, which enables thread ZigBee and open 802.15.4 applications. Now let's take a closer look at the STM32WB SOC. The STM32WB embeds an STM32L4 low power series microcontroller, an ARM Cortex M0 Plus coprocessor, 
as well as security functions that are dedicated to the Cortex M0 Plus coprocessor. The biggest advantage of having both of these devices in, in the STM32WB is low power and high security. To summarize, the STM32WB has seven key points. Multi-protocol, as I mentioned before, it's Bluetooth, OpenThread, ZigBee, and Open 2.4 capable. Dual core with ultra low power capability with, by embedding our STM32 L4 series microcontroller inside the STM32WB. Full IoT protection ready. In integrated SMPS as well as Balan filter for cost savings. We will see a large offering in the next slide as well as integration into our Cube ecosystem, as well as bringing STM32 Cube Monitor RF to the ecosystem. And as with all of our products, it has a 10-year commitment guarantee. When we look at the STM32WB portfolio, we have four package types with four different sizes of RAM and flash, where the STM32WB50 series is our value line device. Overall, we have a fairly large offering for our dual core SoC. When we look at the STM32WB ecosystem, we have the software tools as well as the embedded software and apps available. It's fully integrated or into our Cube ecosystem, which includes Cube IDE, Cube MX, as well as Cube Programmer, Cube Monitor RF, and Cube Power. We also do have our partners that can work fully with our STM32W, which is IAR, Kyle, as well as ARM Embed. In the Cube ecosystem, again, we offer the full stacks of the Bluetooth ZigBee and OpenThread for free. And we also do offer apps for your iOS and your Android device with source code available online. When we look at the development kits available for the WB, we have one hardware kit which includes a Nucleo board as well as a USB dongle. And these are fully compatible with the STM32WB ecosystem. Now let's take a closer look at the sub gigahertz SOCs from ST. When we look at the sub 1 gigahertz markets, there's a lot of proprietary mesh solutions that can be used for any type of IoT type node in the sub 1 gigahertz market. When we look at these devices, they can be used on its own or in conjunction together to create a solution. We have the Spirit and the STM32WL series that serves these markets. ST sub gigahertz wireless portfolio includes transmitter, transceiver, and system on chip devices. We are the only manufacturer to offer a monolithic SOC with lower integrated radio today. The Spirit series of devices pair it with an external STM32 to provide flexibility to customers as these are our transmitter and transceiver devices. The STM32WL includes a Cortex-M4 core, which includes various IoT security features like the STM32WB. Now let's focus on the SOC, which is the STM32WL. The STM32WL includes an STM32L4 low power series microcontroller, a LoRa integrated radio, as well as security features. Again, ST is the only manufacturer on the market today to offer a LoRa integrated radio on a monolithic IC. Looking at the seven key points of the STM32WL, we have the multi-modulation. I mentioned LoRa before, but we can also do FSK, MSK, BPSK which allows you to do things such as Sigfox as well as proprietary mesh networks. We have two different power amplifiers included in the STM32WL as well as an SMPS. We have full integration into our platform by the end of the year. We have the ultra low power STM32L4 integrated inside the WL. We do have some of the IoT security features from the STM32WB. We do have a large offering, which I'll go into in the next slide. And as I mentioned before, a 10 year longevity commitment as we do with all of our microcontrollers. Looking at the STM32WL portfolio, today we have one package with three different RAM and flash sizes. We'll be adding two more packages with again the same RAM and flash sizes. The STM32WL is integrated into our ecosystem similar to the STM32WB. As of today, we do have a Nucleo board, which it can be purchased through local ST sales. Please contact your local ST sales representative if you're interested. We do have integration into our environment, as I mentioned before, the Cube MX environment, the Cube IDE, and the Cube tools. We do have the free stacks available, again, LoRaWAN, Sigfox, and we do have MBUS available. Overall, the STM32WL is now getting started into our ecosystem and will have full integration by the end of the year.